Hey guys, we actually managed to sneak back into the AMD headquarters and we're talking to Jay Lebo. He's the product marketing manager for the new R-Line series of GPUs. So, what do you have in store for us today? What we're going to be looking at today is a brand new Club 3D Radeon R9 290X GPU. This is Radeon's newest GPU. It's our very best GPU and it is built to smash the 4K barrier. What I've got set up for you today is a 5x1 iFinity configuration. So when we go into the lab, what you're going to see is five HD monitors in portrait, uh, a portrait configuration stuck together in a single iFinity group. It's going to be amazing. Wow, sounds totally epic. Yeah, Jay, that sounds awesome. I'm really anxious to see it in action. Why don't we get started? Let's go. All right, guys, here we are hanging out in the tech lab at AMD. Uh, Jay has some pretty cool stuff set up for us. So uh, what are we looking at here, Jay? Well, what we've got here is an AMD system outfitted with the brand new Club 3D Radeon R9 290X GPU. And we're using that GPU to blast our games today across five HD monitors. This is a five by one Ifinity display. And you can see it's pretty spectacular. No, it looks absolutely epic. Now talking a little bit more specifically about the card, uh, what, can, what can we expect that's new this time around? Well, the GPU is itself entirely new. Everything AMD knows about building the world's best GPUs has gone into this product and we built it to be the best. It has four gigabytes of GDDR memory for 4K gaming and over five teraflops of computing power. This thing is a monster. This thing looks absolutely epic. Every time I come here, I feel a little bit worse about my system at home. Uh, comparing this to comparable cards in the market, how is the 290X faring? Well, if you're going by price, then the 290X's natural rival in the market is the GTX 780, and we know that this card compares very favorably against the 780. Would you act in daylight? Darkness is your ally. All right, Jay, Bioshock is looking amazing here. Um, what are some of the technologies that AMD really wants to show off with the 290X? Well, one technology that's brand new that we're really excited about is something that we're calling true audio technology. And true audio technology comes from a recognition that sound engineers have been kind of neglected the last few years. The pace of CPU advancement is really rapid. GPUs advance at an even faster pace. Right. The audio guys have been left out. It's poor souls. Yeah, so audio is a big part of gaming immersion, and those sound engineers have got the same tiny little CPU budget to play with that they've always had, and it's really constricting for them. So what we've done is we put a dedicated digital signal processor right on the GPU, and that's for audio. And what you get with that is actually a reduced uh, audio workload on the CPU, so a little bit of a performance boost. You're opening up up to 150 channels for the sound engineers to play with versus the 50 that they had before. And you're also giving them the ability to program their own sound effects. So just like we saw programmable shaders come out a few years ago, we're now going to be able to let sound engineers program their own sound effects rather than having to use a limited library of effects that we give to them. Very cool. I know for myself, uh, when I'm playing PC games, audio always kind of comes last for me because I'm so focused on getting the good graphics hardware and processing power. Um, so hopefully this will bring me back into a, a really good audio experience. It should. Um, so we have the, the audio covered, and it sounds great. Mm -hmm. um, as for visuals, mm -hmm. I keep hearing about Mantle. Right. And I can't say I know a whole lot about it, but right. I do know my understanding of it is that it's a better way for developers and their games to interact <coughs> with graphics architecture. Right. Um, but that's probably a really simple way to put it, so maybe you could explain. Radeon is now the GPU of choice in the console market. All of the next generation consoles are using G uh, Radeon GPU hardware. And in the console industry, um, programmers have always been used to programming pretty close to the metal. There's always been a minimal amount of abstraction between the machine code that the console understands and the programming language that the game developers write in. And that's part of why the consoles work so well at the prices they're, they're offered at. Yes. Um, now, while that's great on the console side, it creates a lot of problems when it comes to bringing those console games to PC. That's never been easy. So what Mantle is about 
is taking that close to the metal programming paradigm from the console world and bringing it to the PC. So Mantle is developed for the PC and the, the point of it is to make it easier for game developers to bring their console games to the PC, to eliminate that layer of abstraction between the programming code and the machine code, and that's going to mean more performance and more and better games. Very cool, very cool. Um, so one of the, the things that I'm really looking forward to with this p particular car, the uh, Club 3D 390X, is that it comes bundled with Battlefield 4. Yes. Um, how is the Battlefield 4 experience going to be uh, heightened with the 290X? Okay, well, we, we all know that Battlefield 4 is going to be a blockbuster. I, I can't wait. It's my most anticipated game. I'm super excited. I, I've got my pre-order in, too. And uh, we've known for a long time that Battlefield was going to come out at this time of year. And we've also known here at AMD that our 290X GPU is going to come out at this time of year. So we didn't waste any time collaborating with EA DICE to make sure that these, this game and this GPU were going to play nicely together. We've actually been working with DICE for several months to make sure that when these two products hit the market, they're going to work perfectly together. And the cherry on top is actually this coming December, EA DICE has announced that uh, to anyone who has purchased BF4, they will receive a free patch that activates Mantle in Battlefield 4. So if you've got the R9 290X or any other brand new Radeon GPU and Battlefield 4, you download that patch in December, you're going to have a uniquely smooth gaming experience just for Radeon customers. What a deal. So everything that you've shown us looks really cool. The true audio technology, Affinity Display, and the potential for Mantle all look really promising. So I'm actually going to recommend that everybody take a look at the R9 series, particularly the 290X. Thanks for that endorsement, Paige. And, you know, not everyone is lucky enough to have hardware like this at home. So don't forget to check out the rest of the R9 and R7 series GPUs. We worked really hard to make sure there's something in there for everyone. Absolutely. That's a great point. So thanks a lot, Jay, for having us. Thanks for coming down. And a big shout out to the AMD team and Club 3D for letting us play around with their 290X. Uh, so you guys can go check that out at Canada Computers if you want or CanadaComputers.com. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to play with this awesome system. We'll see you guys in the next video. Dave. 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 Can I play? For the best deals on computers and electronics, head to CanadaComputers.com. Plus, you'll find the latest tech news, reviews, contests, and more at cchotspot.com. And you can follow us at CC Deals on Twitter or join our community on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Canada Computers. Can I get, can I get in? Get in there? Uh, Dave, Dave, Dave.